Welcome to Church for Littles. Today we have another great story from the Bible for you. Now say it with me if you can remember. If it's from the Bible, we know that it's true. True, true. yes. So we have another great true story from the Bible for you. We're going to find out what happens next with Jacob and Esau. One day when Isaac was old and turning blind, he called for Esau. Yes, father? Esau replied. Isaac said, Take your bow and your arrows and go out in the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Prepare my favorite dish and bring it here for me to eat. Then I will pronounce the blessing that belongs to you, my firstborn son. But Rebecca overheard what Isaac had said. So she prepared a delicious meal just the way Isaac liked it. Then she took Esau's favorite clothes and gave them to her younger son, Jacob. She covered his arms with the skin of young goats. So Jacob took the food to his father. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come closer so I can touch you and make sure that you really are Esau. So Jacob went closer to his father and Isaac touched him. The voice is Jacob's. But the hands are Esau's, Isaac said, but he did not recognize Jacob because Jacob's hands felt hairy just like Esau's. But are you really my son Esau? He asked. Yes, I am, Jacob replied. Then Isaac said, Now, my son, bring me the wild game. Let me eat it, and then I'll give you my blessing. Then Isaac gave Jacob his blessing. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, Esau returned from his hunt. Esau prepared a delicious meal and brought it to his father. But Isaac asked him, Who are you? Esau replied, It's your firstborn son. It's your son, Esau. Isaac began to tremble uncontrollably and said, Your brother was here, and he tricked me. He's taken away your blessing. From that time on, Esau hated Jacob because their father had given Jacob the blessing. So Jacob went to stay with his uncle Laban. Today we are going to look in the grab bag and try and guess an object that I have placed in there. Finley, go ahead. Don't pull it out until you guess it first. One item. Don't, don't guess it first. Pull it out. Oh, she was right. Okay, Dylan, don't look in there. And you gotta guess what it is before you pull it out. This is a rock. Oh, you're right. <laughs> guess before you pull it out. What is that? Guess it. What did you put in there? <laughs> what is it? Finley, go. Your turn. <laughs> no, it's Finley's turn. Okay. Play-Doh. Good guess. Hey, Gooby. I think so. Grape. <gasps> A grape. Okay, I think there's one more left. us of today's story when Isaac tried to guess Jacob or Esau by touching their arms. Hi boys and girls, Teacher Sharon here and this week we're talking about truth. That means we always want to be careful that we tell the truth, we tell what is right and real. Speak the truth to each other. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. Let's read it one more time. Speak the truth to each other. Zechariah 
chapter 8, verse 16. Have a great week speaking the truth. For today's project, you need crayons and these printouts. You can find them in the description of this YouTube video. First, color everything in. Now fold along this line like this. And fold along this line like this. Here's our craft and here's our memory verse. Let me show you that again. First, fold along this line like this. Now fold along this line like this. Speak the truth to each other. Zechariah 8.16 Happy crafting! Are you ready to repeat after me? Okay. Speak. Speak. The truth. The truth. To. To. Each. Each. Other. Other. Zachariah. Zachariah. Eight. Sixteen. Yay! Good job!
Thanks for singing with us today. Bye. Bye, kids. I'm so glad you joined us for Church for Littles today. We've had a great time learning about Jacob and Esau and some choices that they made. We're going to close our time together by praying together. Now, a lot of times when people pray together, one person will pray out loud and everybody else sits quietly. Now, those people aren't just sitting there. They are also praying quietly inside their heads and inside their hearts. So for today's prayer, I will pray out loud. But you kids at home, you pray quietly inside your heads and inside your hearts. And you can pray the same things I'm praying out loud, or you can pray your own prayer. Let's pray together. Hold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this true story from the Bible about Jacob and Esau and the choices they made. Please help us, when it's time to make a choice, to make good choices instead of bad ones. Thank you for helping us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us for Church for Littles today. We'll see you next time.